the last words of a roach underfoot. Yes. Sometimes we hear you tell your children that we're more afraid of you than you are of us. Funny, you never tell them about the twisting, deafening darkness mere inches from your skull when you sleep, the orgy of legs and antenna and more than 10 feet from your naked toes at every hour of the day. This hell is not where we live. This hell is what we are. We are certainly not afraid. We may not be very smart, but our love is brilliant. Twitchy and chattering inside the walls, just beyond the reach of your creeping sunrise. Our love can see in the dark. And yes, we run when the lights are turned on, but it's not out of fear. See, it's just that we prefer some atmosphere. We find love in the places you don't want to admit exist, and we know a deeper kind of bond than flowers and pop songs. She kisses me like candy dropped under the refrigerator. She kisses yes. me frantically with a passion too easily confused for starvation. See, over millennia we've learned that every second smiling, whispering something beautiful or feeling glorious, the second not spent intertwined like fingers in prayer, she kisses me like survival. Through winters, through boots and rolled up newspapers, through bombs and nerve gas, our love may not inspire songs or fairy tales, but we will hold on to it long after every one of your stingers and storytellers are dead and it won't be beautiful, but we will still be here and no one will see us, but we will still be here. She kisses me like we won't be. Hmm. And we've been listening to you. You say sex can be something greater than necessity, that love can be something greater than the complex interplay of chemicals in the brain, that life can be something greater than survival. What could be greater than survival? Keep your plastic coated greeting cards, expensive shiny rocks and whispered I love you's in the rain, this love has no need for props. We don't even have lips. She kisses me everywhere with everything she has. So turn the light on, we dare you. What you call night is just a fumigation tent over the earth. And the stars <laughs> are your last hallucination before the poison pools in your rotted lungs and overtakes you. We will dance on your insides. Our children will inherit your homes. And a million years from now, when your species is extinct, and all of your songs and poems and joys and heartbreaks and struggles are forgotten, we will still be here, intertwined, fucking a billion of us in the dark places you'll always be afraid of.